another update for Citybound. In the last update I told you about how I want to use shared memory both to support multi-threading in Citybound as well as to solve the problem of safe games once and forever. And now in the past few weeks I've been busy with um, implementing the basics that are needed for that. During this process I noticed a couple of things though that made me reconsider the way I want to do development for Citybound and this is what today's update will be about and regarding that I actually want to announce something. So what I noticed was first that a lot of the work on Citybound will probably be this kind of background work because Citybound is just such a new kind of game that it requires a game engine which doesn't really exist yet so this is what I will also spend a lot of time working on but I felt like it's a pity that I can't really share it with the community or that it's not as easy to share or I just didn't know how to share it with the community and um, at the same time I felt my developer sense tingling that just constantly told me like look at all of these modules in the code they're actually really generic and reusable and the most normal thing for a programmer would be to take them and to package them into separate libraries and make them open source and uh, get the help of the community or of other people who need that to both make them better for their particular interests as well as for everyone. And I really, really felt like I wanted to do that. And looking at the Citybound source code, I noticed that a lot of the stuff that's already in there, that's in the engine is general like that and can be separated out. And that's what I started doing. I took out parts of the code, packaged them into tiny libraries and really tested out how well it works to make Citybound this huge system which consists of a lot of isolated, well-separated modules. And just by trying this, it felt like the code quality became so much better. And then I thought about it some more and I decided, hey, there, there's been so many people asking me like how they can get into touch with the Citybound source code or how they can help the project. There, There's a lot of programmers watching the live streams, for example, but I always was, of course, careful to not let them too close to the main source code but I realized that by packaging small parts of the engine that I actually need myself and making them public I could let the community suddenly interact with the code and this is my announcement this is what I decided to do I will take parts of Citybound put them on github make sure they're well documented use all the kinds of nice things that github offers like issue systems and then let you look at that and let you interact with that like in the beginning, you can just have a look at it out of curiosity, for example. I could imagine incorporating this with live streams that I say like, okay, no, I'm implementing this, but it would be really nice to have that at some point. And then if someone is interested, they can try themselves to implement something like that and submit it as a pull request, for example. It just allows all of these kinds of great interactions um, with the source code. And at the same time, thinking about the future, this will provide a basis for documenting the source code of the whole game, which will be hugely important for modding. And the earlier there are people who are familiar with the source code or he who maybe even contributed something to it, the earlier it will be possible to do modding and the easier it will be to do modding. So these are my hopes about that. But um, instead of telling you so much about what I hope this will be, let's just look at how this actually looks in reality and let's head on over to github and look at the first couple example submodules that I extracted out of the citybound source code. So here they are and this is what it looks like. These are all the modules that I extracted so far. You can find them at github.com slash citybound. Let's have a quick look at one of them, shared state, which implements exactly the shared memory for multi-threading and safe games that I told you about. Here's a quick description of the project for each of these module projects. I also try to describe how exactly they use in Citybound, what their purpose is. And then I explain in a little more detail how they are being used by giving some very simple examples with actual code of how they work. Here in contribution, you can see that goals, wishes and bugs are managed as GitHub issues. This is where all of our interaction will happen. Let's have a quick look. You can see that so far I only created a couple to-do items for myself, but here will be bug reports. Here we will also handle pull requests if some of you want to contribute code actually, 
and we will use all of this nice infrastructure that GitHub provides us with. So yes, let's look at a couple other ones. You can see the structure is always kind of the same. Some of them already have more documentation, others less. And slowly I will fill all of this with even more life. There will be a lot more modules which I will add here. And let's see how all of you like it. I will put the link in the description so you can take a look at it yourself if you're interested in it. But um, yeah, this is all about CD Bond on GitHub and this is what it looks like. So in addition to that, I also want to announce something else to just make sure that all of these things that I hope for regarding this new interaction actually come true and that is a fixed schedule for live streams. Now that my life has become kind of stable again, I can do that. And my suggestion would be to do live streams in my Central European time on Friday mornings and Sunday mornings. For you people in America, this will mean like Thursday night and Saturday night. For people further in the east, it will be um, Saturday morning, I guess, and Monday morning. So I hope there's some times where everyone can watch easily. And as I said, I'm really looking forward to this kind of closer interaction with the source code where you can't just see the source code during the live stream, but you can actually see the result on GitHub and interact with it. So I'm really looking forward to see all of you more often again. The next time will be on Friday and on Sunday in the live streams. I'm really looking forward to this new kind of interaction. I'm really curious how it will be like for you. Until then, take care. Thank you for watching this update. I hope you like how everything will change and see you all soon. Bye bye. to see as many of you as possible on Friday and on Sunday in the live streams and fail. <laughs>